for pomegranate. Can't do the grafting. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you find that actually so in a ungrafted, the ones that are just so there's the cuttings and then ungrafted. That and then which, ungrafted. Yes. Yeah, the one which you plant from the seed. Ah. Yeah. And of course, with that, it takes a longer time. Yeah, the seed one will take a very very long time because uh, normally usually give it a at most six to seven years to have your first production. What? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. And now for the cuttings. For the cuttings, usually give them around one and a half to two years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you find that is a difference of around two to three years. Yeah. When you compare the two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is uh, now the planting stage. Mm -hmm. uh, depending with the, how patient you are or how what you need, yeah. it, it will you know which direction. Yeah, which direction to go. Okay. So the moment you go the cutting way, because I'll dwell on the cutting way, because for us as Oxfam, mm -hmm. we do produce for magnets uh, through cuttings. Through cuttings. Yeah. Okay. So when you go the cutting way, uh, you'll do the planting the same way. Uh, the first, because the whole size is usually two feet yes. deep, two feet wide. wide. So the lower one feet, you take, uh, you get rid of the, the subsoil. Sub mm. The top soil, you mix it with the manure. Mm -hmm. Then you fill the lower one feet. Okay. Then you take the pomegranate uh, seedling. Mm. Then now you plant it. Mm -hmm. Then now you fill the hole with the remaining portion of the mixture. With the mixture with, with the manure. Yeah. The okay. okay. Then another thing, because these ones are you are you are producing them through cuttings. Mm. The moment you are removing or yeah removing it from the potting bag, yeah. you have to ensure you handle it with care because these are cutting. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to ensure the soil that was in the potting bag remains intact. Oh, so you you'll transfer it like that to yeah. the hole. So you just ensure you don't interfere with the root area. But you ensure you don't uh, plant it with the potting bag. So you remove the potting bag. Yeah. So do you do you need to water it before just so that you can have it intact, or you can just? Uh, normally, what usually advice is, uh, it's good you first remove it, then you water it on the ground. Because if you water it first, then there's a possibility of the soil kutawa uh, nika kutokana. Mm. Mm. But even when you remove it when the soil is still dry and intact, then there's a higher chance you'll there'll be no low minimal. Uh, interruption with the root area okay yeah okay. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah. we've planted it do we now water is watering now a must every time that you plant uh yes watering is a key factor okay because uh that is a change of environment so you have to ensure where you're taking it the environment is conducive okay yeah so and in case that area of course because you said warm areas are better mm -hmm. rain do we now go into irrigation can we now irrigate practice irrigation on the pomegranate uh yes you can practice irrigation because mm -hmm. we find that uh, most people uh for those who have let's say uh, lances of an acre mm -hmm. most will find them using uh, these uh bottle yes. it's more like a drip mm -hmm. bottle drip irrigation mm -hmm. then there are those who now will is install the irrigation yeah. the drip irrigation yeah. itself yeah so depending on the acreage uh one usually tries to find out which one is efficient and economical yeah yeah, yeah. okay so we've planted uh, we've put in the cutting we've watered it yes. so when we do all of that mm -hmm. how now do we start carrying it from that young age to get to where it is for example like this one yeah. so what, what 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 are the requirements what factors should we consider as you take care of that pomegranate as it's young as it's young, as it's young. yeah since uh you mentioned earlier you find the warmer and hotter region is where it does best mm. so at its tender stage mm -hmm. first really encourage you incorporate mulching uh, that is applying mulch uh, around the root area, as you can see here. Yes, 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 yes. So the purpose for the mulching is to reduce the evapotranspiration rate, because mm. we find at that tender stage it requires much water and also the temperatures are high. Yes. So we find the mulch at least it reduces the rate at which you irrigate it. Ah, it contains like the moisture. Yeah. Okay. So we find like if you irrigate it now, uh, maybe you'll come tomorrow evening or maybe the other day, the next day, mm. so that you irrigate again. Mm. So you make sure you don't overwater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So does mulching continue even as the plant Because with this tree, I can see there's still a lot of mulch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, for mulching, normally, find, uh, yes, it can continue depending with the, how you find it fit. Mm. But uh, at some stage, you might find the tree is now big enough to find it for itself because the roots below, you find they actually they have spread. Yeah. So in some way, they can be able to source water from beneath on their own. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the mulching uh, normally is usually just advisable during the early stages, mm. or rather, you can say maybe during the first year. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we do the we've watered, we do mulching. 
Now we get to know the plant itself as it's growing. Yeah. Do we now take now how to take care of the tree itself? Different things that we can do because of course we can see like this one, mm -hmm. some leaves are everywhere, the plant continues to grow. Yeah. We have uh, a string that's holding them together. Yeah. yeah. So uh, ex explain to us about all of that now as the tree is growing. Yeah, so normally what happens is uh, I find uh, what most farmers forget is because this is a tree, when they plant it, they usually forget the regular addition of manure. Mm. So you find that's really a key thing because yeah. that tree, the moment you have planted it, it depletes the manure which you planted it with, uh, initially. Yes. So if you don't keep adding the manure, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. that tree, you'll find it uh, kind of in a way of an uh, unhealthy state. Mm. Inanza ku nyauka and curling. So normally it's really recommended wongeze mm -hmm. But that is usually... Okay, what happens is uh, I find uh, after around every six, seven, eight months, okay. you have to come and add manure regularly. Mm -hmm. What happens is uh, you can come and dig around the root area because still the tree is young yeah. and uh, apply the manure, then try to mix it to the soil. Mm, pole pole, yeah, carefully. carefully. Yes. Then uh, you can apply the, you can irrigate it. So you find that when you irrigate it, at least uh, the nutrients, they can some way per percolate mm. beneath to the root area. Mm. Then now you return the mulch on top. Ah, yeah. so now is it, is, is it now for me as a farmer to, to monitor and see, okay, after six months we add manure, do you also monitor how your tree is, is yeah. growing? Yeah. Okay, for you to know when, because at, at this stage, do we still need to add manure? Uh, not really. At this stage, uh, the tree is fully grown okay. and it can fend for itself. Unless mm -hmm. you come and find this tree, maybe in some way, it's either attacked by certain disease or maybe it looks mal malnutrition. Then that's when you can be able to tell maybe this ground or this farm it's uh, in terms of nutrition status it's depleted yeah. then that's something that you have to do for the whole farm general ah yeah. okay yeah. all right and you've talked about um, disease malnutrition and which is something that we'd like to know about the pomegranate yeah. especially because they say it's one of the easiest yeah. fruit trees to to farm yeah. but before that we'll be taking a quick break we'll be right back Leo jioni katika upeo wa TV47. Serikali ianza mpango wa kumrudisha nchini mshukiwa wa ugaidi aliyekamatwa DRC Congo. Wanaazimio wa kitakambi Nairobi huku kikosi cha Kenya kwanza kikiendelea kampeni zake limuru. Tumeunganisha ndio tushinde hii uchaguzi round 1 na 70%. Mana ni mekuta tombo. Ama unaitua nani ya kutuwa hili. Kuzi yon kitoka. Mvongo. Ndiyo ujuga natoka. Na tutakueleza ukweli kuhusu mawaji ya naweendelea kushuhudiwa kaunti ya lamu. Usia kubalia maumivu ya misuli kukatiza ratiba yako. Kaluma Pain Balm ni dawa ya kusukua ili otengenezo kutoka kwa miche malumu ili kutuliza maumivu ya misuli. Kaluma Pain Balm. Shhh. Maumivu ya kizidi, pata ushauri wa daktari. You are watching TV47, the home of untold stories. back for those who are joining us we are talking about pomegranate or as we said famously known as kuku manga and now here with cliff we're talking about the planting process of this particular fruit tree and now we get into the pests and diseases and definitely that's part of management so we'll talk about the pests and diseases uh, why we have the string which we had earlier mentioned and so on so let's talk about the pests that and the malnutrition you were talking about yeah okay uh for the pomegranates uh you find uh the most uh, stubborn pest because okay most people will not see a bird as a pest but that's a pest that's a pest yeah. yeah 
especially because of the matunda. Yeah. Yeah. Because you find the uh, birds normally they usually attracted with things that are colorful. Uh-huh. And you find when the pomegranate is fully ripe, it really yes. has a very appealing look. Very bright. Yeah, very so bright. It, 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 it seeks it's a- attention. Yeah. Yeah. So one is the uh, the birds, mm-hmm. but of which you find uh, most farmers uh, some will try to put uh, the Usually these trap nets, mm. which uh, you might find every fruit uh, in fungo with a certain net to protect it. Ah. Then uh, there are those who are like a scarecrow, which uh, nowadays uh, <laughs> become a birds may evolve. So they are like yeah. Yeah. tricks. <laughs> yeah, but normally that's actually the critical stubborn pest. Yeah. Then another thing you usually find, uh, you might find some other fruits in the crack. Even if you are going to buy a fruit, you may find a crack in the crack. But see, in Indege, in Indege. Uh-huh. See Indege, uh-huh. Uh-huh. normally what happens is when these pomegranates are uh, how you care about how you care for them okay. also matters. Uh-huh. Yeah, you might find a farmer has pomegranates on his farm. So he's experiencing uh, the issue of fruits cracking. Mm. But I do see that again. So for him, at a time maybe change the or the quality of the seedling ah, in the combine. But come many yeah. Yeah. Because you find uh, these trees, the moment uh, Eco water stress or nutrient stress. That's when you see the fruits and that could crack. So mm-hmm. you find this is something a farmer has to either come and after some years to test the soil. Yes, again. To get to know what is missing in the soil. Yes. And once he knows, I, I apply to rectify the soil situation. Mm. And if it's about to water, then uh, they book on the sequence, some of the frequency in which he's watering. Yeah. Because at times we might find, uh, yes, uh, but when some grounds are actually dry mm. and the roots have gone so your part of cochini maybe might be tricky mm. yeah okay makes sense so fruits do also have stress this is been a damu peke yake yeah true <laughs> okay so now that's still under how you manage yeah you've already identified that these are the problems pests and diseases but also water stress nutrient stress yeah and there's a way you can do that with yeah. a soil test doing a soil test to see what nutrients and just being regular with water yeah true so we go into now that space of kufungwa because yeah. i can see with the with the with the, with the pomegranate mm-hmm. it's not a one tree yeah like it's not it's gonna branches maybe yeah. and i see maybe it's because maybe they fall out well what's what's the reason of putting the string and why do we need to do that okay normally find uh the pomegranates have been spaced with a spacing of four meters four. by four meters yes and uh as you can see from beneath mm-hmm. in metua, you can call them either stems or branches because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you might find that this one like on its own it's a mm-hmm. stem yeah so you find that the thing is if they are not tied close together they kind of overlap ah. and when they overlap you find that the other trees also overlapping so you so kind of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as kishikana it usually impacts the proper growth Oh, so you put them together so they can grow uniformly. Yeah, uniformly. Okay. And then also to ensure there's no that competition Ah, yes, because they start competing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we've dealt with pests and diseases. We are, we are managing the situation of how they are growing. Yeah. So for the fruit now, getting mm-hmm. out to the fruit, we've dealt with the tree itself. Yes. Now the produce, which is the fruit. Mm-hmm. How do we know this tree is ready to produce fruits? What do we need to look out for? Okay, to know the tree is ready to produce fruits, first, uh, it surely starts with the height of the tree and also how this, how strong the stems are. Because mm-hmm. you find this tree, because you have planted it and it's a uh, one from a cutting. Yes. This tree is bound to start flowering way earlier ah, than expected. Than, than expected. And yeah. going the seed way, which would have yeah. taken longer. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you as a farmer, you might see it flowering and it's quite short and you think it's ready, but not yet ready because it's not yet strong or stable to carry many fruits. Uh-huh. So we shall advise at least to ensure the trees are around two and a half meters tall. Because uh-huh. at that height, that tree is now able to carry, it's now able to carry many fruits. Mm. So height and the strength of the, the strength, strength yes. is usually one thing to consider first. Okay. Because that tree can even start flowering even one two months after you transplanted it mm. but does that mean it's mature no, no it's yeah. not ready to carry the fruit yeah and now the focus shifts into producing other than making it strong very true amazing yeah okay so now we go into now so we wait for the flowering yeah and we wait for about two years uh normally uh by the time this tree reaches uh, a year and a half mm. you'll find that uh, it's actually about that height 
two mm. to two and a half. Two two and a half. So we find at that stage it's now ready to it's be ready left. now. So it's 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 mature enough yes. to start producing. Yeah. So we have the the fruit now. Yeah. Is there a certain number? Are we assured like let's say from one tree you'll get this amount of pomegranates or how 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 are we able to tell? Okay, you find our pomegranates even if you go to the market, normally mm. they usually weighed or sold in terms of kilograms. Okay. Uh, to get a, a certified vendor selling to you in terms of one fruit, uh-huh. very hard. Uh. So you find these trees are normally, in terms of kilograms, they usually produce uh, during the first uh, subsequent years. Uh-huh. It can be around uh, 20 to 25 kgs. Mm, but you find that, uh, yeah. Wow. But you find with the continual uh, growth and good care, mm-hmm. it's bound to increase beyond that. Uh-huh. So you find it's something that uh, for the first few years, with good care, you can be getting within that range. Mm. Then if you continue with the same uh, practice, then the production can even increase. Can even increase. Yeah. Okay. So now with that, how are you able to know it's time to harvest? Because you talked about the, the, the birds looking yeah. at the color. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to note apart from the color? And what color does it turn okay. to? Okay. For the pomegranates, first you have to understand that uh, there are usually various varieties. Mm-hmm. There are those ones which are when they are ripe or ready. Mm-hmm. On the inside, uh, they have the pink seeds or red mm-hmm. seeds. Mm-hmm. Then there are ones which have the white seeds. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you find that uh, in Kenya, mm-hmm. because of how the demand is, mm-hmm. majority measure on the ones which have the red the seeds red seed. inside. Uh huh. So for those ones, for you to be able to know that fruit is ready, mm-hmm. normally the skin of the fruit is usually either red in color or mm. with a blend of orange. Yeah. That is when you cannot the fruit is ready for it's consumption. Ready. Okay. But uh, if you are doing now for commercial whereby you have to harvest it, mm-hmm. then that means uh, you have to harvest it when it's still at the orange stage, mm. the orange color stage. Because mm. with pomegranate first you have to ensure you store them somewhere and put a soko to peleke. Do peleke. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, both know, but the demand is so far in yeah. Kenya. Yeah. So it's something that you have first to source in the market. Okay. Yeah. So is do you, would you say that, because um, of the pomegranate, that a challenge, that one of the challenges they face is, or farmers face, is the lack of market? Uh, I wouldn't say lack of market. Mm. What I can say is, because uh, this is something you find, uh, initially it was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could even find it uh, just growing in people's compounds, but people never knew what it yes, is. Yes, 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 that's true. And now, because now people have started realizing its economical value in terms of health, mm. uh, profitability in terms of finances, mm-hmm. now people are started embracing it. Mm-hmm. And now, because they're embracing it, we're going to be able to get it. We're going to be able to get it. So, now most people, what they're struggling is now sourcing certified seedlings for pomegranate. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Because so, you, because because as you said at the beginning, yeah. If you mess up the first stage, you won't be able to get yeah, good fruits. Okay. That's true. So so the major problem is now find, finding certified cuttings. Yeah. Or seeds. Yeah. Okay. Because if I now, as much as yes, in Kenya, majority of the pomegranate still being imported, mm, but mm. we also are, we are start, we also have farmers who are now venturing mm. into it on large scale. Yes. Because also in Kenya we are expecting. In the long run, we also be able to produce and export ourselves. Yeah. Because it's something that can grow well in Kenya as the Kenyan climate suits it very well. It's right. conducive for yeah. it. Okay. Um, of course, we'd want to know benefits of the kukumanga. Yeah. <laughs> and you've talked about health benefits and financial benefits. Yeah. So you could take us through both of them. Mm-hmm. What are the health benefits? Of course, economically, you've told us a tree can do more than even 20 kgs. Yeah. So in the long run, if you take care of it, it's economical. Yeah. So take us to the financial benefit in terms of even price mm-hmm. as they are being sold in kgs. Yeah. How much is the price? How much do we expect to buy the, the pomegranate? Yeah. And also health benefits that you've talked about. Yeah. So, okay. For the health benefits, I'll start with that. Yes. Because we find uh, pomegranate uh, actually find among the many reasons why it's now being embraced. Mm-hmm. Health benefits is what is backing that. Uh-huh. Because if you find a uh, pomegranate, uh, for instance, uh, the guys with the chronic diseases, the lack of cancer, heart problems, there are those ones you find uh, actually they're using it as a medicine. The reason being, they usually blend it, take their juice on a daily basis because you find it's high in terms of the essential nutrients. Yes. So you find it's very, very beneficial to 
mostly the elderly. Mm. That's why utapata wale wazee mbani wanaitumia sana wanaikunywa sana in terms of the juice. Mm. Then another health benefit uh, what you usually believe is say that usually helps in maintaining uh, marriages. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then uh, I think those are actually actually the, the main the ones. The main ones. Yeah. Okay. Then now into financial, probably the price. Okay. Into okay. financials, uh, you find uh, when you go to the markets, the whole the soko. Soko, yeah, uh-huh. that's the word. Yeah. When I put a kilo, it was around eight hundred to a thousand. That's a kg. Wow. But that's the market price. Yeah. So you find uh, the get or rather the farm get price. What is estimated that. A kg should be ranging around uh, 300 to 500. Mm. Yeah, that's the okay. farm gate price. Okay. So you find if a tree, you use the minimum 20 kg or maybe the 25, mm. and a neck takes to 50, then you do the arithmetics, you find it won't be bad for you as a farmer. Yeah. The only challenge is find uh, this is something that produces uh, once a year, it's not uh, quite.